I'm Sean Lamb for those that haven't met me yet. So what we're about to do now is our, our bonus track, our, car, our um, core clinic, let's say. It's only going to be about four minutes long here. You don't need to do this every day, but ideally this is designed so that you can add it on to the end of Keith's workout that you've just done. So if you can do it every day, great. But if you can only do this every other day, then that is absolutely fine as well. This is completely up to you. But obviously the more that you do it, the more results that you're going to get. If you get any feelings in your back, any pain, aches, just slow down, stop, take a breather. Keith's going to come and enjoy me. He's going to show you some lower options. Just listen to your body, push it as hard as you can, but just listen to it. So if there's anything going on, stop. Let us know what's happening with your messages. Just let us know. Are you ready? I want you to lie down if you've got a mat. Grab a mat. So you're lying down. We're going to start off with your basic abdominal curl. We've all done this. Hands are resting underneath your head. Your knees are about hip distance apart. We're just going to start to lift and lower. Here we go. Lift and lower. Let's make sure I get keep inside. <laughs> now at the same time, it's really important that we engage our abdominal muscles. So let's pull them in. And as we're lifting up, that's when we're going to breathe out. So, eight more. Seven. This is the area that all those women really complain about into the abdominal. So let's go for it. Four more times. Four. Now we're not going to stop. All we're going to do is add on a bully twist. So watch you change. We go lift, twist, center. Now go to the other side. Doing good. Right. What you're going to watch out for here is that your hips stay really, really still. So your twist. It's coming from your waist and at the same time we're still thinking about pulling those abdominal muscles all the way to our spine. Keep it going. Oh. Four more. Four. Alright, we should be feeling something happen now. Two more and we're going to have a wee rest, okay? Last one. Now lie down and rest it out. So we should be feeling a wee bit tightness through the abdominals. We're prepping ourselves and preparing ourselves for the next exercise. We're going to infant our spine towards the mat. So we infant, tilt our pelvis back, flatten our back down, and lift our legs up to tabletop. Our legs are up here without the back lifting away from the mat. We should down shoulders and relax. Single leg extension only. But there we go. Reach. And it. Come on, focus on the spine, staying down into that infancy position. Now I know the most of you will be lifting your shoulders up, relax. And at this point, your option is keep to drop your heels to the floor to make it slightly easier, it comes closer to the bottom. To make it harder, you go further away from the bottom, so reach in. Four more, four. Three, Woo. two, last one, knees into chest, give yourself a little hug. We're going to change your position, we're going to face you, you're going to face us, we're going to lie on our side. We're going to start off with a single leg lift, so I want your head down, relax the top of your shoulder here. Lift the top leg up and down only, that's it, lift and lower, <laughs> four more, three, Two more. <laughs> See up there, lift that second leg up. Now it's when we lift the second leg up and we're starting to feel the waist working. That is working into the core. Now we're going to drop both legs down and lift both legs up. Hands out if you want. Lift. Lift. Come on, get the legs higher. If you're feeling brave, take the hand away. But I want to work in how high you can come. Four. Three, two, quick shimmy to the other side. Let me see you get round. Lift the top leg only. Is this where it feels okay if I take my hand away? Use your stomach. At this point, it's really easy to forget about this. You're lying down, you're focusing on keeping the hips in line. Two more only. Keep the top leg up. Now lift the second leg up and hold. Ready. Both down, both up. Oh. Lift as legs as high as you can. The higher we lift, the 
some of our wigs will be. Come on, lift the leg. So if you want to, if this is too much, go back to your top leg only lifted. That's fine. Two more. Last one. Right. Line your tummy. Ah. Right, I want you to reach your arms out. This is your last exercise. Arms and legs out. We're going to take opposite arm to opposite leg. So we lift up. Chest, buttocks tight and drop. And again. Now we inhale to lift on that lovely back extension. Really important is where our necks are going. We're keeping our neck long, so our eye line is staying looking down to that mat. Right, we're going to finish this with a little, well, let's say cardio blast. So we're still working the back. We do need an element of coordination as we lift both legs up, both arms up, and we're going to kick. This is called swimming. We're going to kick the lot. Now the higher we go, the harder this is. So let's lift the body. You will feel it in the buttocks, in the back, core workout. Lift, lift. Now we're ready, Keith. Move those arms if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, relax. Now push back into a little shell stretch. Release your back. Well done, guys. You've done it. It was only four minutes long, so you could repeat that as often as you wanted throughout the day, throughout the week, season.